How are we doing today, fellow fighters? Thank you for tuning in. Today we'll be going over two different Hayabusa gloves. So, if you're looking at Hayabusa and you're not sure which one to get, we're going to go over a couple of the most popular gloves I've sold. And this is the T3 LX series, made of Italian leather. This is an awesome glove. Everybody that I've ever sold it to loves this glove to death. But it comes at a price, $179. But it's a great glove. So you kind of got to ask yourself, would you rather have that or this Compeki? Also made of leather. But this is 100% genuine, full grain, drum dried leather. The world's finest in high performance leather. Wow. So you've got these two gloves, the world's finest in high performance leather and Italian leather, both made by Hayabusa. They both have this patented double strap that just feels great when you put it on. As I put on this Compeki glove, the first thing that I notice is on the inside it's tightly knit all the way through the glove even into the fingertips so it's a great feel great fit very comfortable these seem to be something that kind of keeps your wrist from bouncing around too much they seem to be stiff um honestly this is an awesome glove it's one of my favorites so let's put the uh t3 lx series on And it feels very similar, but there is something different. I think it's the, uh, the material on the inside. The shape of it, the form of it feels the same, but the material on the inside does feel a little bit different. I don't think it's for better or for worse, it's just different. Of course, this Italian leather has a softer look to it. It's not doesn't have that gloss like the uh, full grain drum dried leather had so this one also has that wrist support on the back side feels like it's kind of just pulling your wrist back doesn't want it to bend which feels amazing honestly when you hit something with it it's just solid so the next question is which one's better well we got to consider price this one this uh t3 lx 179 so it seems like a lot for a glove, but most people who take fighting seriously and they're training every day, 179 for a good glove that'll last a long time, keeps your wrist safe. It's not a whole lot to ask, but it, at first it seems like, wow, that's a lot of money. But honestly, 179 for this glove, if you're training a lot every day, this is it's money well spent. So, let's say you want to save a little bit of money, and you go with this Compeki at 159 Is it worth it? Personally, guys, I like this glove a little bit more. You're going to save a little bit of money, and you're still going to get a really nice glove. So... Is it really better? I don't think it's better. I think it's different. They feel a little bit different. They look a little bit different. They're both expensive. But if I were to pick, I'd pick this one. But with that said, everybody I've sold this glove to loves it and swears by it. So really, it's just personal preference. If money's not an option, we take the Italian leather. Um, if you want the world's finest, then that's what this says it is. It's the world's finest leather. So anyway... Um, there's just some information on the two gloves. They're amazing gloves. I like them both. Uh, it's hard to say one's really that much better. I do think price comes into, into play when one's quite a bit, well, $20 more expensive. So anyway, that's my opinion on the matter. Uh, hopefully that helps clear up your thought process. Any questions that you might have. If you want to see another video, you can see I got a bunch of gloves here for sale. 
Uh, I'm willing to check out, try out, do a review on any glove. So, like I say, right here in stock, I've got Reyes Fairtex Ringside um, Rival. So if you have a glove that you've been thinking about, you want to know what my opinion is on it, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and hopefully you'll see my next video soon. Thank you. We'll see you.